Good morning. Um, and thank you for the, uh, the invitation to talk about clamshell thoracotomy for trauma, the who, what, when, and how. And this is the procedure that's required for a minority of trauma patients and is performed in the resuscitation room or within the emergency department because the patient is deteriorating too quickly to get to the operating room. Who can do it? Well, I believe every vascular surgeon in this room has the skills to do this procedure. The hardest step is making the decision to do it, and I'll try and help with that. If you can do a laparotomy, you can open a chest. It's the same incision with a bone in the way. Once you've got the chest open, the anatomy is all there in front of you, and in this situation, there are only a few things that you can do. You can control a bleeding lung, you can compress the aorta, and most importantly, you could open the pericardium, you can decompress a tamponade, and you can suture a heart. And yes, you can suture a heart because the hole will be small. If it was any bigger, the patient wouldn't be alive to reach you. It's the patients with a cardiac tamponade that become pulseless but have persistent signs of life that gain most from this procedure. You can expect one in three of those to survive and most of them will be neurologically intact. Once you wait for the signs of life to disappear, once the circulation is empty and they're exsanguinated, then the chance of success is very low. So picture the patient. Penetrating thoracic injury, pulse disappears, but there are persistent signs of life. Go for it. Same mechanism of injury, but the signs of life have now disappeared. Still go for it, but only if CPR has been undertaken for a matter of minutes. For blunt trauma, be much more circumspect. Yes, if there are signs of life, go for it, but don't be surprised if there are not many survivors. If there are no signs of life, I would only do a thoracotomy if that patient had arrested in front of me. How to do it? Access to an anterolateral thoracotomy is really, really difficult. So go straight for the clamshell. Don't count ribs. Make your incision below, just below the nipple in a man in the inframammary crease in a woman. Cut through skin, fat, through the muscles between the ribs. When you get to the sternum, divide it with tough cut scissors or straight bone cutters. Put your finisher to your retractor in and crank it open. Always open the pericardium. And you do this just like you open the peritoneum. You make a long, longitudinal incision and deliver the heart. You want to avoid the phrenic nerve, so stay as anterior as you can. As the saying goes, stay high on the heart. You then get fantastic access and you can do just what you need to do. If there is a tamponade, remove the clot. If the hole is bleeding, it might not be, but if it's bleeding, put your finger on it, take a breath. What you then, you want to suture the heart with a curved needle, a non-cutting needle with 3O polypropylene, and you do it just like you would stitch the most fragile, friable aorta. So full thickness bite, use the curve of the needle and tie it very gently. If you're successful, take the patient to the operating theatre, close the chest. Don't forget the ligate, the internal, uh, the, not the internal carotid artery, the internal uh, thoracic arteries, um, because if not bleeding now, they will bleed later. Mm. There we go. If the heart has stopped, repair the, heart, the hole quickly, compress the aorta, perform internal cardiac massage, and hopefully the heart will restart. When to stop? If you've opened the, the pericardium and there's asystole and no tamponade, then stop, the patient is dead. If there's cardiac injury you can't fix, stop. If after you've controlled the bleeding in the chest, given volume transfusion and the blood pressure after several minutes is still only 60, 70 millimeters of mercury, stop. So in summary, who can do this? Any vascular surgeon. When to do it? When you think there's a tamponade. Penetrating chest injury, pulse disappears, but there are persistent signs of life. How to do it? Do a clamshell, open the pericardium, stitch the heart. Good luck. Thank you.